Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. We are currently in Las Vegas, where I am delighted to be joined by Seth Hirsch, head of analytics and partner at Acadia. Seth, such a pleasure to have you on the show today. Great to be here, right? At Acadia, you call yourself a modern digital agency obsessed with your customers' growth. How are you using data to always put your customers first? Yeah, we, we love working with challenger brands at Acadia. We like those brands that have to fight a little bit harder to catch up to somebody ahead of them. And the best way to do that is through data. Uh, we believe that the unfair fight that our clients can, can go after is, is by understanding their clients' customer, their customers better. And for us, we help them know who their customers are, where they're coming from, how to find more that look like them, and ultimately how to help their customers get what, they're, what they want. So we put their customers first, and that, that helps them grow and helps us grow along the way. Seth, looking forward to diving into the details. You recently released your 2024 Retail Media in Marketplace Outlook. Can you walk us through the key takeaways? Yeah, so it's a little known fact that uh, Amazon is now the third largest media company in the world. Um, retail marketplaces are growing exponentially. It's just a massive area. We have a, a huge focus on that, among other things, at Acadia. But the retail marketplaces is, is a big part of that. And my role on the analytics team is to help our clients use their data and, and the snowflake environments that we create to, to push audiences to those platforms. So we use Amazon Marketing Cloud to, to take data from our clients' direct-to-consumer sites, push it into Amazon Marketing Cloud so that we can optimize the, the communications that we're sending there, um, essentially building clean rooms with other partners so that we can uh, use first-party data as well as retailer data to make better decisions. And so. Um, that, that whole first party data environment along with retail marketplaces is really a big focus for our analytics team in 2024. Seth, I'm so glad you mentioned Snowflake. I want to dive in to the technical side for a moment. How does the data cloud's ease of use allow your clients to stay one step ahead of the competition? Yeah, one of the things we love is the Snowflake's data sharing capability. What used to take us sometimes weeks or months to get data from clients, we now sometimes can get that data in an afternoon just through a data share. And so it allows us to jump into their data quicker, answer questions faster. Uh, we're also big fans of the, be able, the ability to scale up when our clients have questions and be able to answer things in, in a timely manner when it really matters most for our clients. Great to hear, Seth. Now I'd like to look internally at Acadia. You have a single digit employee attrition rate. How is the team using data internally in order to maximize your employees' well being? Yeah, I love this question. It's something we're really passionate about. Uh, one of the things that we do, we send out surveys to all of our employees on a weekly basis. Um, so we gather data. The moment somebody feels something's changed or something needs to be addressed, we hear about it from our employees directly. So we have both quantitative and qualitative numbers that are research that tells us how our employees are feeling about things. Uh, values are extremely important to us as well. We've got four core values that we're really passionate about and we have a Slack channel where people get to reward each other and, and ultimately shout each other out for, for the great things that they're doing to help us keep the culture the way it is. And so we, we keep track of that and how, how well people are doing it, thanking others for, for their participation. Great to hear to be successful. It takes the entire team. I want to bring it now to current day. The topic of the hour remains all around AI. What impact do you see this technology having on the overall business? Yeah, so first for us, we, we got immediate use for it, surprisingly on the creative side of our business. So our, our writers and, and designers use it all the time to help them come up with new ideas and figure out how they can get to faster and, and more creative concepts. Um, the analytics side that I lead at Acadia, it's actually been a little bit slower. Where it's, it's more important to make sure every answer is accurate. Um, we now are, are moving full steam ahead. There's some cool new tools that we're using on top that sit on top of Snowflake that allow us to use natural language uh, processing to, to query data and get to faster answers that way. Really bullish, I think it's going to be a big part of, of what 2024 looks like for our team. Uh, to change the way that we, we answer our clients' questions going forward. Well, Seth, I'm looking forward to seeing what's next at Acadia. Thank you so much for joining me on Data Cloud Now. Thanks for having me. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green tuning out from Las Vegas. This is Data Cloud Now.